Brussels sprouts. Believe it or not, this vegetable can be made delicious. I'm sure a lot of y'all had them growing up. They were boiled, they were bland, they were mushy, and they probably scarred you for life. Well, today, with the help of an air fryer and my cookbook, Get Your Grub On, I'm going to show you just how delicious this vegetable can be. Very easy, not a lot of ingredients, but takes a little bit of time, and I promise you this can be one of the best side dishes that you'll ever have. You are ready to do this? Awesome. Very easy to start. We're just going to cut the bottom root off. We're going to cut them in half. That's it. Get a good knife, and have at it. And that's it. Once you have these, you want to wash them out, just run them under cold water, and pat them dry. Then, you're just going to get a little bit of some sesame oil right on top. Get your favorite seasonings, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, whatever you want really. And you're just going to toss them all around. You want your Brussels sprouts nice and coated and shiny, so that way when they're in the air fryer, they'll get crispy. 385, 10 minutes. Every 5 minutes, we will toss them around. As an added bonus today, we're going to be making a quick little dipping sauce. We're going to get kewpie mayo, a little bit of some sambal, a little taste of some tahini, a couple splashes of soy sauce, a dash of teriyaki, just a little bit of honey. Of course, a little bit of some garlic seasoning. And to brighten it all up, a little splash of lime juice. And all we're going to do, just mix it up. And now we wait. This is what our... Brussels sprouts look like after about 10 to 12 minutes in the air fryer. You're going to see a couple of these crispy leaves. I like these a lot because you can dip with your sauce. But to wrap this up, a little more sesame oil and just a little more salt to toss before we toss this all out around. And we'll plate up. Our dipping sauce is ready to go and let's eat. All right, let's try it. Overall, the salt and sesame flavors put together go very well with the Brussels sprouts. And then with that sauce, it's even better. This would be a great side dish for a lot of things or as an appetizer. So if you got people coming over, definitely make sure that you put this all together because it's fast, easy, and more importantly, delicious. The umami really has my mouth watering, so we're going to take a quick sip of water. But I hope you learned something today, so make sure you follow me on social media, Chef Steven Gonzalez on Facebook, Chef Steven Gonzalez on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Also go to ChefStevenGonzalez.com, get a copy of my cookbook, Catch Your Grub On, where this recipe is in here, and many others. So with that being said, we'll catch you later.